What's going on? This is GD Beat Studio, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to enhance the sound of FL Keys, which is the default piano plugin for FL Studio. I'm using FL Studio 20, and I'm going to be first using all default effects, and then I'm going to be using some out of the box effects, uh, most of which are actually free. So, the first thing I'm going to do is open up FL Keys. I'm going to be going to modify the concert piano preset because I think this is one of the more realistic sounding ones that exist in FL Keys. Now the first things I'm going to do are turn down the decay below 0% and turn down the release because I feel like they are too high to start. Uh, the second thing I'm going to do is actually build my pattern. And let's just build a quick four chord progression. All right, so we got a four chord progression. Well, it's like five chords, but anyway. I first want to add the, the most basic effect that I think really enhances a piano, and that is giving it the feeling of being in a room, giving it some reverb. You could add it directly on insert one, which is where it's linked to right now, but I'm actually going to route dock this to the right, which is what I typically do to handle my reverbs. We're going to be using Fruity Reverb 2, and uh, that's the first reverb plugin. The other reverb plugin I use is Valhalla Room. I'm gonna increase the stereo separation to negative 100%, just flip it to the right, increase the wet all the way, and then lower the dry to about 25, 30%. Now, when you do this, it doesn't do anything to the sound over here until you click this button, which routes some signal over here, and you can choose how much is being sent through the reverb plugin. So here's what we have now. You can really hear it after I click the pause, the stop button because you can hear what happens after I have let go of the note. Now it's a little weak right now so we're going to beef it up. Uh, the, the way I'm going to do that just quickly is just by increasing the gain with a limiter. Handling the peaks with the ceiling. Now one thing that I think that the concert piano doesn't do that well is it doesn't really have the mellowness of a lot of concert pianos that I prefer. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to use the Fruity Love filter. And we're going to leave the cutoff frequency just above half, like 58% or so. Instead of this, now we have this. Okay, and the only other thing that I really want to do is beef it up a little more and cut the lows. So let's cut the lows with that high pass, maybe like 70 hertz or so. Doesn't sound much different to the ear because there wasn't much bass going on before. But anyway, we're going to actually add a sound goodizer, which is one of my um, least favorite but sometimes favorite little pl effect plugin. I 
honestly, I think this reverb just needs a little more size, maybe a little more dry, and a little more decay. Um, anyway, the main thing that I want to emphasize here is that we have kind of mellowed out the sound and we've added the reverb we've changed a little bit of the actual decay and release in summary and the last thing I can do to beef up the sound is actually just in the notes itself just adding that extra octave underneath in other words duplicating these bottom notes say I think that they're a little too loud these bottom notes so I'm actually going to go in here make them a little bit less all right and now one thing that I want to do is show you guys what I would do to handle this if it was not FL Studio Native Restricted. So all of this is good stuff, but I'm gonna go over here to Insert 5. I'm gonna open my Roland Signature Digital Piano Preset, make sure that it's not actually doing what I would do for my Roland Digital Piano. And we're gonna do a different reverb. We're gonna dock this one to the right, we're gonna do Valhalla Room, default, everything default when it comes up as large room. And um, I am gonna EQ the reverb a little bit just to make sure there's still no like low frequencies kind of cutting in, cutting in or out. Um, and then with, with this, there's a little stereo separation here. That's not a huge deal, but I wanna send it over to this one instead of that one. So we have five being routed over to the second reverb channel, the reverb send, and we have one being routed over here. This is what it sounds like with one. This is what it sounds like with five. The big difference you're hearing is that I did not use the love filter and I'll use it here now to make it a little more consistent. Versus the first one. I think the, the main reason why I feel that this one with the out-of-box stuff is better, the one that I have here, is because I'm using a saturation knob to add some color to the frequencies. I'm using a camel crusher here to compress the sound, uh, using a compressor and a, and a master volume that increases the volume as well. Um, and then I'm not doing anything here. This is just a placeholder in case I wanted to add any frequencies. Um, because you, you should really do your additive frequencies after you do any compression, reductive frequencies before. And that's actually really it. Um, I think that the Valhalla Room reverb sounds a heck of a lot better than Fruity, uh, Fruity Reverb 2. The fact that I'm EQing the bottom of it is probably not hurting. But there weren't any low frequencies that were getting through from here to begin with, so it shouldn't matter too much. Anyway, I hope this video was somewhat useful. I didn't go into like extreme detail on, on all a lot of finer points, but um, 
generally, you know, modifying FL keys decay and release for me has helped quite a bit. Making sure that I have the right amount of reverb selected, tweaking the reverb quite a bit can help. A little sound goodizer can help or it can make it worse. And making sure that you are, you know, cutting frequencies where you need to. Uh, in this case, I just wanted to lay off the high end because I feel that the concert piano is just a little too bright. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and please feel free to leave suggestions for future videos in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.